Hello and welcome back. It's a pleasure to see you. Compliments of the season. I hope you're well. The shopping done. Gifts, presents wrapped, ready to go. Well, for those that's for those who who can be bothered about Christmas. The likes of us who celebrate Christmas every day, who do not wait for this specific time of the year. It's no big deal. Life twirls on. Well, this is just um to just wish everybody a truly pleasant, safe, peaceful time. This time of the year, there's a lot of spending going on. Let us be mindful that there will be life after Christmas. Remember January, that's very tough, strong month that tends to turn out to be like a month which is God's 60 days. Let us be mindful of our spending. As much as we want to splash out and share and display our love for our loved ones, for people around us, those who are not so privileged like we are, we need to think about our future. We have to plan. Be mindful. There are 31 days in January and it will go on and make one feel like until payday comes, you'll be scrounging and just start trying to get by because you have overspent in December. Another thing we need to be mindful of is the titled people. We know that majority of those people who's within, with their shrines, they've got no other business but to collect tithes and offerings from their congregants and leave large off of the people that come to look for God. This is their season. I know many of you would want to go out of your way to give them presents, gifts, and just outsmart the other person, outdo yourself. Maybe you gave them something last year and they have challenged you to do better. Be mindful. Those people should be the one, if we are, we are being real, should be the ones giving away. Those people are the ones who should look after their flock. The economic situation in the world currently can never be downplayed. There is no polite way of saying it. It is harsh. And the, the, the saddest thing is that it's the poor, those who are not well-to-do, who feel it the most. So guys, be mindful. Those titled people who come, they have the titles, you know them. I'll just name a few so that if, in case you, you do not recall, they go with a title of pastors, prophets, prophetesses, minister, bishop, archbishop, the reverend, whatever. Those are the titled people. You know them. They are the people who have, you have termed the man or, or woman of God over your life. They will come with all kinds of gimmicks, tricks and antics to take the little that you've got. Guard your hearts, guard your pockets as well. If you have enough to share, look in the community after you have looked into your family and find, found nobody who needs, you will find a needy, genuine people who are in great need. Do what you can to support them in this season. Those titled people will come and tell lies in the name of God. They will tell you to challenge God, to give X, Y, Z. They never run out of projects that need to be completed. It's all part of the plan to keep their dynasty, their earthly possession going. Using you, wake up. You do not need to spend your time this Christmas in any shrine. 
they have endless programs lined up now until the end of the year so that you are there every day. You're giving your time, your energy, your money. What do you get from them? Empty promises. Year in, year out. Grow up. Learn. Be independent. Free yourself. Jesus has died to set you free. No human being can do anything to do that for you. Break away from that bondage of religion. Come out of it. I do not like arguing about certain things like Christmas, Santa Claus, uh, Easter. Is the Bible correct? Is there a God? Is Jesus God? These are things I really can't be bothered to waste my time arguing over. But I will come back soon to share about Christmas. Not to dissuade anyone from celebrating. I do celebrate. Just stay at home and, and enjoy time with my family. But it's entirely up to everybody what they want to do this season. But make it something that is worthwhile, memorable. This is a time to celebrate and just look out around you. There are lots of people who are in need of everything. You may have something in your home that you do not use. You haven't touched it for a long time. You could, it could be something that would bless someone else. Give it to them. So this is a brief thing I wanted to share. Be mindful as you go about. Be mindful of your spending. Be mindful of how those titled people come, the the tricks that they would come. I do not know which one they have manufactured. Be mindful of all the various programs that they would have just to get into your pockets. If I were you, I would have some serious padlocks going on. Or just do not attend. You've been doing these things for years. What have, What has come out of your life? You're still in the same place. Free yourself. Do not crucify our Lord a second time. You've been set free. Trust him. Stay in your home. Read and study the word of God, the Bible for yourself. You will find truths. The Holy Spirit will explain and reveal things to you. You'll be amazed. We're all men and women of God. There is no special man or woman of God anywhere. Because they are the owners of the shrine doesn't make them better than you. This is a secret that needs to be out there. There is no pastor that is better than any member of his church. If I will call it a church. So my dear beloved people, I love you all. I will use this time as well to just wish you compliments of the season. Merry Christmas. Be safe. Look after yourself. Don't forget your health. Remember, health is wealth. It's only someone who is well that can celebrate Christmas, that can attend the shrines. So look after yourself. I thank you for your time. I will see you again soon. Have a very pleasant day.